So hello everybody, I'm GC and today I'll show you some hidden NVIDIA settings which normal users don't know and advanced users knows but they don't know what to choose. So let's get started. So we all know NVIDIA just released new 50 series GPUs and with that they also released DLSS 4 which uses transformer model instead of CNN model. And in recent update of NVIDIA drivers, you can use this new transformer model with your old 20, 30 and 40 series GPUs. You can access it by going to your NVIDIA app, then go to graphics tab, then in program settings select the game which supports DLSS, let's say Spider-Man 2. Then go to driver settings and here you can see DLSS override settings. This frame generation option is grayed out because it's only available for 50 series GPUs but you can change these two options in which this super resolution option override any DLSS mode with DLAA. So if your game don't have DLAA then you can use this option to forcefully enable DLAA and same thing with the ultra performance which is pretty good. But that's the topic for another video so stay tuned. In this video we'll only talk about model presets option with this you can change between trans transformer and CNN model. So to do that click on this then select use different settings for each DLSS technology then go to super resolution and here you'll see all of these presets. Starting from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, oh wait, it's not whole A, B, C, D, just some letters. Basically these letters represent the version of DLSS. So first version of DLSS was preset A, then preset B, then preset C and so on. But GC which option should I select? Well if we go to this page of Tom's hardware which is very popular website, we can see the description of all these presets. So preset A was made for DLSS quality, performance and balance mode. Then preset B was made for ultra performance mode. Preset C was again made for DLSS quality, balance and performance mode. So basically preset C was improved version of preset A. Then preset D was improved version of preset C and preset E was improved version of preset D. Then preset F was made for ultra performance and DLAA modes. And among all of this preset, preset E is the default preset for DLSS quality, balance and performance modes. And preset F is the default preset for ultra performance and DLAA modes. And one more thing, this old preset uses old CNN model. Then GC how can I use new transformer models which 50 series uses? Calm down, calm down Albert, I'm telling you. So there is another preset called preset J which uses transformer model. I don't know why they skipped G, H and I letters but they directly jumped to J. So J is using transformer model but GC I'm so confused A, B, C, D, E, F, G which one should I select? Don't worry Albert, GC is here. I'll compare all the presets and tell you which one to choose. And here is the roadmap. So first we'll compare preset A, C, D and E on DLSS quality. Then we'll compare the best preset among them with transformer model means preset J. Then we'll compare preset F with J on DLAA mode and at last we'll compare preset B with F and J on ultra performance mode because B only improves the quality of ultra performance mode. So let's go. So quality wise in Spider-Man 2 I couldn't find any difference except in this scene where preset A was struggling. So basically I found no difference in Spider-Man 2 that is why I had to download fucking 100 GB game Star Wars Jedi Survivor. But in that game I found real difference. As you can see preset A was showing ghosting effects and little bit of shimmering also. Then preset C was solving the ghosting problem but was shimmering a lot and preset D was solving solving the shimmering issue but it was ghosting like hell. Then at last preset E which solved both issues that is why it's the default preset although it does not completely solve the ghosting problem but it's better than other presets. And performance wise preset A gave me 99 fps on average, preset C 93 on average, D 94 on average and preset E 95 on average. So performance wise preset A was giving 4 fps more than preset E but quality wise preset E is better. So E is the best preset for best 
performance and quality. So now we'll compare preset E with preset J and as you can see J completely solves the costing problem but J wasn't crystal clear. You can see that on tower's antenna. It's not that much visible in preset J and performance wise preset J was dropping 4 FPS as compared to preset E. So if you are fighting for FPS then go with preset E otherwise preset J which uses transformer model. Now let's test DLAA on preset F and J because F is the default preset for DLAA and ultra performance. So quality wise in DLAA preset J was best. It was giving perfect image while preset F was removing some details and performance wise preset J cost 3 FPS. So in my opinion if you are playing in DLAA that means you want best quality. So you should go with preset J which gives the perfect image. And there is one more preset called preset K which isn't officially out yet but I tested it using Nvidia inspector. So preset K also uses transformer model. Basically it's the improvement of preset J but it does not improve the quality. It improves the FPS. Yeah it's just 2 FPS but it's the improvement. And I also tested preset B, F, J and K on DLSS ultra performance preset in which preset B was worst in quality, F was stable but still showing ghosting effects while J wasn't showing the ghosting effect. I mean not that much. And preset K is the improvement of preset J but both of them were unstable. So among all the presets preset F was the most stable one but it was showing ghosting effects. And performance wise F and B were giving the most FPS. So in conclusion for ultra performance mode F is the best preset because your main focus will be to get more FPS in ultra performance mode so F is the best option. So now you know all about DLSS presets and if you want a video on how to use preset K then let me know. And that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then give a like, subscribe to the channel and as always I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.